My ALS doctors have always said that they thought that some of my symptoms must be being caused by something else that is also happening at the same time, another disease, possibly more than one. So I have been searching for other possible sources of my symptoms, and I have come across uh, something that totally makes sense. I'm trying to be evaluated now with genetic testing for connective tissue disorders. Uh, it looks to me like I have a genetic mutation for the classic Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, which is a very rare type. Um, I could have another type as well. My two children have the hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and my mother had the hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. So it's possible, very possible that I have one of these types. And so I started looking at all of my symptoms and it is so crazy, like every single one of my symptoms can be explained by EDS. My bleeding in my white matter, my webbed toes, my flat feet, my hyperextensible skin, my atrophic scars uh, or cigarette paper scars, <laughs> my tendon uh, subluxations, all of my joint pain, all of my GI issues, my esophagus issues, my eyelid drooping that had to have surgery, my abdominal prolapse. I was born with an umbilical hernia. Um, so I've had these symptoms like my whole life, falling out of bed, falling down the stairs, the fasciculations, weird muscle contractions I have, and the whole like where I cross my legs. All of that can be explained by connective tissue disorders. So crazy. <laughs> So I might have found the answer. Hopefully I can get a, clin a genetics clinic to test me and get confirmation. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't have ALS. I have the SOD1 mutation. And so eventually I will be diagnosed with ALS unless I die first. So <laughs> the likelihood is that I will have it before I turn 70, according to the statistics.